Give me the right heart to listen to your words tonight. Huh? That my heart is going to be in alignment with whatever word you're sending for me. Huh? That your word is going to meet my heart right here. Sending to bring the word to us tonight, Lord, that the word you, you will speak expressly through him in the name of Jesus, uh, that we will hear of just himself, uh, but your word through him in the name of Jesus. Confessions of faith, I would say it and you would repeat after me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Confessions of faith. Confessions of faith. April 2024. April 2024. Our months of helps. Our months of helps. Our months of helps and angelic intervention. So, people of God, we do it this way. Everywhere you hear the well, everywhere we are supposed to have the month of April, we replace it with May. Can we do that together powerfully? Yes. This, May, this May, we acknowledge that all power belongs to God. We acknowledge that all power belongs to God. We pronounce our faith in the in the God of all goodness. We pronounce our faith in the God of all goodness. Power. Power and help. And help. We obtain the mercies of God. We obtain the mercies of God. We obtain the interventions of God. We obtain the interventions of God. In our situations. In our situations. We are helped 
walked in Zion. We have walked in Zion. We are the one God has delivered. We are the ones God has delivered. By his ministry spirit of fire. By his ministry spirit of fire. May 2024. May 2024. Is the month of mighty helps. Is the month of mighty helps. And timely angelic interventions. And timely angelic interventions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Although we are vibrant, although we are vibrant and very intelligent, and very intelligent, we choose, we choose and prefer, and prefer to rely on the superior intelligence, to rely on the superior intelligence of heaven in all our endeavors. Of heaven in all our endeavors. We receive support. We receive support of men, of men and angels and angels on all sides. On all sides. Spiritually, spiritually financially, emotionally. Marry and every wise of life. We declare we are in Jesus' name. Amen. By the anointing of the Spirit of the Living God, we break every yoke and bondage and the divine interventions of God in our lives. We are assignment and give as well as the ones only God can give. Amen. And made and inanimate objects operate with us. In being, all these work together for our good, because we are the Lord and our God according to His purpose. Amen. Amen. Our families are helped. Our children experience supernatural support and divine protection. The Lord is our support system and has intervened as necessary with angelic interventions. Glory. He has saved. He has delivered. He rejoices over us in singing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our country is helped. Our city is helped. All of virtues is helped. We testify that our God is magnified. That this land and city is ours. Our Hebrew is here. Glory to God. Therefore, in our goings and our comings, and when all of this is over, we shall declare of the mercies of our God and His faithfulness. We, we shall say, Yahweh is good to us and all that concerns us, as we give to God all the glory, now as always. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. People of God, with a, with a round of applause, can we welcome Dickin Sunday? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are happy to be here tonight, can you shout glory? Glory. If you know that God is going to speak to you tonight, can you shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. One of the things that we are excited today being the first day of the month of May, a month of round about refreshing. You know, one of the things that when a man of God, when I was talking with him, when he's was talking to me about something and he mentioned one statement to me. He said, don't remain the way you are. Try to make necessary efforts to bring about a change to yourself. Amen. Amen. You know, that statement struck me so much that I now stumbled on a book of um, Kenneth E. A. King talking about learning to hear from God. And this thing has helped me be able to move from where I used to be to where I am tonight currently. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, one of the things that I want you to pray for is that whenever you are trying to make an effort, I want you to pray tonight that, Lord, I come against every spirit of distraction. One of the things that I've learned is that anytime I try to have time that I'm going to have messages like this, that's when I have different things, different activities. They are distractions. I want you to pray tonight and say, Lord, 
in the days that I have to do the things that will matter, I will not be distracted in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and pray tonight, Lord? That, Lord, I come against every spirit of distraction. One of the things that is, is said is that if you don't plan to succeed, you will also plan to fail. Can you open your mouth and pray tonight and say, Lord, I come against every spirit of distraction, Lord. That, Lord, in the days I have to do the things that will matter, in the days I have to do the things that are going to cause changes to my life, Lord, I'm going to be distracted in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, Father, tonight I pray. Can you open your mouth and pray? Read the big telebosa. Mashata baria la bada boso di eleba salia. Rada bakata la bada bosa. Yara bara 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 bosa. Mashata sala ba. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Eko to libe 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 boso di eleba sa. Mashata baria la bada boso di eleba salia. Mashata bara bara bara. Ala libe 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 boso di eleba sa. Mashata libe libe boso di eleba sa. Mashata bara bara bara. Ala libe 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 boso di eleba sa. Mashata baria la bada bara. Rada bakata la bada Bolo 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 sodia, eko sodia bolo 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 sa. Masha tabari ya baraba, makasa tabari ya bolo sa. For in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I'd like us to pray tonight and say, Lord, this month is our month of refreshing, Lord. Father, refresh me to your word tonight, Lord. Lord, let me not come back here and let me not go back to Lord. Lord, let this word, let it come afresh to me, oh God. That word that you have for me tonight, Lord, let none of them pass me by. Can you open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, refresh me, Lord, tonight, Lord. Let your word of refreshing be jumped unto me in the name of Jesus. That Lord, I pray. Let me have an encounter with you tonight, O God, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Before we take us further tonight, I would like to appreciate our mama. Can we celebrate our moment tonight? And this seems like a token. I would like you to help me to rise to so we'll appreciate my father. No other person than Reverend Dr. Alexander for the One of the things I wanted to know is that Amanda God keeps saying, he said, if there is a vision, there will always be a provision. You and me here tonight is a part of provision for this vision. Mm. I want you to pray and say, Lord, as I'm part of the, the provision for this vision, Lord, help me to play my role effectively, Lord. Can you open your mouth and pray, Lord, and say, Lord, help me to play my own role, Lord. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that, Lord, my own role in this vision, Lord, I'll be able to pray, that I'll play it with, Lord, that I'll not just pray it with, that I'll play that my own role, Lord, by the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray tonight. For in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Can we do that song? We bow down and worship.
gentlemen together for Jesus has to take our seat right now. Can you greet your neighbor that welcome tonight? Can you greet your neighbor? 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 Can you say thank you for coming tonight? I pray that God will meet you. Amen. I still want to say uh, thank you to my father, man of God, once again. I say thank you, sir. I do not take this opportunity for granted. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be here tonight, ministering the word to the people of God. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. I'm going to be taking us through the line of the, the, um, the line of the role of the Holy Spirit in our life. Hallelujah. Praise God. What I call it? The role of what? The role of the line of the Holy Spirit in our lives. The role of the Holy Spirit. One of the things that I, hold, I have made here, I said the Holy Spirit role is to seal believer salvation. Hallelujah. You know, when you, when you move with a man of God very well, you will know that he's a man that doesn't work ordinary. Amen. Amen. He believes in the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Because look at it, I said the role, this, the, the role of the Holy Spirit is to seal believer salvation. That means that the Holy Spirit is one of the ones that help you to confirm your, your, your belief in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, I, 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 I was trying to do something um, today, and the Spirit of God told me, said, abandon these things and focus on this thing. And in the process of, like I said, sometimes it's good for you to learn to build your spirit, as in how you hear from God. Hallelujah. And... I decide to say, okay, let me listen. And as I abandoned that thing, the person that was supposed to come and do that job for me, if he had touched that job, it would have cost me a lot of money. Hallelujah. Praise God. It was maybe 10 minutes after or something, somebody just called me that, okay, please, I'm going to send someone to you. And when the person came, something that I was thinking that's going to cost me like a half a million, Everybody costing me about 50,000 naira. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just for what? Just for obedience. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I said, yeah, I said it's one of the things that I said that is the role of the Holy Spirit is what? Is to seal believer salvation. You know, if you, if you look at the way this life is being designed, if you walk without, if you walk in the, that's why the Bible said, uh, the, 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 your ways are not his ways. Neither your thoughts. Uh, his thoughts because his plan is different from what you are looking at one of the things i've learned from my, uh, my man of god is that he will tell you that don't tell me that this thing is not possible because god has said with him all things are possible hallelujah so but the work of the holy spirit is to help you to be able to make decision hallelujah and when i look at it i said i, I wrote it i said this the role of the holy spirit is to seal believers salvation, review god's thoughts there's a thought that god has towards you amen, amen. As, you, as we are entering this month of May, if you have entered this month of May without you praying, I can tell you that you might not be able to make some decisions right. Amen. Amen. That's why when Amman God said, he said, before you take it to the throne, always take it to the And before you take it to the phone, always take it to the throne. Because when you are planning to make that decision, God sees what you cannot see. Amen. Amen. And they said, the things happen twice. It's happened first in the spirit realm before it happened in the physical realm. Yes. There was one of the man of God messages that was preaching. He was talking about it. He said, um, the owner, the person who owns DCB, had to pray for 40 days and 40 nights before DCB can happen. That means that there is nothing that has happened in this world that does not happen in the spiritual realm first. But if it just happened naturally, it cannot, it cannot be sustained for a very long while. Hallelujah. And I'm looking at it here that when I said, that the Holy Spirit's role is to seal believer salvation. That means that the Holy Spirit is the one to help you to have conviction in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the one that helps you to be able to, for you to be able to fine tune your salvation. There's no, you know, when a man was telling us that time, he said that it's easier for you to tell people when you have results than for you to be using mouth to be saying, Hallelujah. You know, when, 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 you, when you live life, if you have test, they said, um, you know, in, if you go to, maybe you want to go to markets, then you go to all this, um, maybe Alaba market, all this thing, you want to buy something. There's what they call uh, tested and trusted. You understand me? That means that before you buy the product, they will test it for you. You confirm it. But there are some products that they can test for you. 
that if you don't know about it, say, <laughs> that by the time you get to your house, <laughs> that same product is no longer working. Hallelujah. But our, our, our God is not like that. Hallelujah. That's why you need the Spirit of God. Before you do that business, you need to consult the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I wrote it here. I, I wrote three things here. I said, the Holy Spirit is to reveal, his role is to seal believer salvation, reveal God's thought, and teach and guide believers. That means that before you make your daily outcome, in that, um, in, in that one, I remember a message that was talking about learning to hear from God. The first thing that he was saying, he said one of the problems that we Christians have is that we don't, we just want to, maybe, maybe you're about to go out now, and the Spirit of God tells you that, pray for 13 minutes before you go. But because you feel that that place you are going is more important than that prayer, and the prayer is the one that can make that place you are going either to be good or whatever thing that is going to happen on the other side is for him to be able to avert it and look at it here is like once on this thing that once you are once you look, have the consciousness of listening to the holy spirit he said what he said he teach and guide believers that means that in that your business the holy spirit will guide you on what to do he will guide you on when to make uh, when to purchase when not to purchase when to what you should do what you not should do the people you should have as friends is the only spirit that will help you to know this is the person you should be there are some times that um it's lately that i try to understand that there are some you should know when if this person is a friend or this one is a foe there are some people that you are giving them attention but those people you are the one that is calling them friend they are not calling you friend yes sir, yes, sir. so when you, by the time you are giving time to the person who does not value you it's a waste of resources yes. Amen. Amen. It's a waste of resources. You, because no matter what you do to that person, the person cannot be satisfied. Yes, sir. You're right. So it's the spirit of God that help, help you to be able to know that this is it. Just imagine now. I, I, I think there was a time I was sharing to, I think um, uh, MD and admin that was talking about it that asked people to go and purchase something. Me, that the spirit of God told me that I told them I did not do it. Praise God. <laughs> and people that did it. They are grateful for it today. So some sometimes I've realized that it's when a mama said that it pays you to be in the center of God's will than to be in your own will. Because in the process of you doing God's own, God is taking care of your own. And I'm going to say that God can take care of you more than you can take care of yourself. The places that you are struggling to go, God can take you to a five times or six times please better maybe you want to you are saying that okay i want to travel and, this, and you are traveling you are traveling in the economy and god's plan is for you to travel in business life or maybe even traveling in your own chartered private jet that you don't have to pay for praise god Hallelujah. i've i've come to realize that in life when you are striving for the things of this world with not striving for god you just keep chasing it the more you are getting closer to it the things keep and that is the strategy of, of the devil. Sorry. And that's the strategy of the devil. So one of the things why I, I was saying that the I said the role of the is for your salvation. That means that you should know that this project that I'm going for is not because I have read. It's not because I have the capacity. It's not because I, you have, it's good for you to have the skills. Fine. Because if you look at the story of, um, look at the um, story of Paul, it is when, uh, it was because it was useful killing Christians that God looked at it like, ah, on, if this guy can have this kind of strength in the other world, if I can take charge of this guy. So that means that God is not looking for jobless people. Amen? Yes, sir. God is looking for people who are Sometimes when I'm looking at myself, I'm trying to do this and that, and I hear this video go tell you, this same energy you are putting in this thing, put it in my work and see the difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm saying, that the Holy Spirit will seal your what? Seal the, um, um, seal the believer's um, salvation. Because I now wrote it, I said the Holy Spirit reveals God's thoughts. 
maybe your own plan. You know, they are saying jackpa, 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 jackpa. Maybe your own plan is say, I want to travel. And God's plan is for you to stay in this country. Sir, so, I'm telling you, if God shows you me, there's money in this country. This country is blessed. One of the things that I've realized is that I have taken time to study. And I've seen that foreigners are living better in this country than us. Why? Because they could see. Amen. I want you to pray tonight and say, Lord, in this city of Lagos, help me to be able to see, Lord, the things that I need to do that will transform my financial life. Because I can tell you, when you have much money, you can do much more. You can serve God better. I'm going to say that when you have more, it's easier for you to do much more. Can you open your mouth and pray tonight and say, Lord, Father, I pray, Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. I've said the first one, I said this, the, the Holy Spirit, what seals believer salvation. The second one, he said, what he revealed God's thoughts. The third one was. It teaches you on what to do. That, okay, just I can put this one here. It teach and guide believers. Then now so this one it fuse believer with strength and wisdom. You know, there are some times that if you are looking by your own strength, there are some things, there are some there are some there are some idea that you can never dare. Because you know that like a man of God was teaching us in, in today's meeting, was talking about that. When you are thinking about it, that some people when they mention 10 million parent is a problem. They'll be like, ah, how come? I think it was a man where I was sharing the story of uh, one of Mama's clients that they, when they mentioned the figure for the person to travel, and be, how many years do I have to work to get this money? Can you see how the person, maybe God, maybe God, what God just needs for her is like, you know, like Mary said, if, if Mary had not said be done to me, she wouldn't have been able to help. Maybe God just wants to say, okay, receive this thing first and I'll provide it for you. Because he said, when there is a vision, there is provision. A vision at that time might be for her to travel. And God needs to what? Just to provide the financial resources for her. God can use any means. The challenge we have is that, um, in, um, can we open to the book of, um, in the book of Matthew, he was talking about it. That he said, the challenge we have is that we are thinking about what we want to eat. You understand me? What we want to wear. How we want to survive. And a man of God was telling me, he said, can you come over this um, overcome this survival mentality because the more you try to do it on your own, the farther it become. Amen. Amen. And it was it was telling you know, telling me he said that he said don't 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 try to live a life of regret because he said um, if you don't serve God, he said if you, if you can't serve God because of God wants to prosper you, say serve Him so that you will not fail in life. Amen. So you can see the, the, the way that. So I'm trying to let you know that one of the major role of Holy Spirit is to help you as a believer to do his work better. Amen. Amen. That's why I said, I said, the believe, I said the, it fills believers with strength and wisdom. That means that it's going to fill you with strength. You know, there's, there are some strengths. Um, I remember there's a book that I read, I think about something about the demons or something that when he finished reading that book, he came out like, where's the devil? Where's the devil? That's what the Spirit of God does to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. There are some, there are some, there are some, um, there are some, this, uh, there are some projects you want to handle. With the Spirit of God, you can say, "Come on, bring it on. Let's go there." Mm. Amen. Mm. There are some ideas that come to you that, you, with the Spirit of God, when you have the Holy Spirit in you, that you know that yes, I am conscious of the Holy Spirit. You can know that yes, this thing I, I can know what to do because what is going to what is going to strengthen you. Amen. And going to grant you the wisdom on how to go about that, that project. Amen. Amen. And I wrote it here. I said, the, the next one. It said, it, the Holy Spirit intercedes for the believers. Hallelujah. Amen. That means that as you are speaking in tongues, you know, sometimes when you are speaking in tongues, you yourself, what, sometimes if you are not careful, what you, what you are saying, you might not even have the understanding of it. But you are speaking in that tongues. The Holy Spirit is, is gathering some things for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's doing what? He's gathering some things for you. He's making way where there's where you, in the places where he's mentioning your name in the places that matter. Amen. Amen. So I, I'm just trying to use this one just as a chart before I go into my 
message. This is just the omomo of the gist behind before I start the main message. They now say, yeah, I said, I have it here. I said, um, and he gives, gives us spiritual gifts. He dwells inside each believer. He fulfills various, various roles. So I'm just saying that this is just like a, a, a paraphrase of what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Amen. Amen. So I, I said, yeah, can, you, can, can we call together? He what? He still believer salvation. Review God's thoughts. Teach and guide believers. Uh -huh. He fills believers with strength and what? He what? Seek for. And he gives them what? Spiritual gifts. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So for year, I have it here. And I said there are seven rules of the Holy Spirit in our life. Amen. Amen. There are seven rules of what? Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And out of those seven rules, the first one is that the Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. Seven gifts. Sorry, I wrote here. Seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. The first of them is what? Is wisdom. Amen. Amen. That means that in your day-to-day -day activity, you need the wisdom of God for you to be able to make great decisions. You know, a man of God said that great meetings don't make great people. It's great decisions that make people. Yeah. There are some times that there are some decisions that you make that can make you to regret for the rest of your life. Yeah. Can you pray to now and say, Lord, every, whatever decision I'm going to make in this month of May, Lord, that I will not make costly decisions, oh God. That decisions that I'm going to make, Lord, that Lord will help me. Those decisions that will help me to be able to, 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 be able to become a better person. Decisions that will help me to be able to move forward. Decisions, Lord, I pray this month, listen. Can you pray, Castle Tolibosa? For in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. And I wrote here, I said, when the Holy Spirit gives you wisdom, the wisdom, that wisdom makes rooms for you in the places that matter. Amen. Amen. There is no man that have wisdom that you know when 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 anybody comes to you is is the reason why you will see people to come to you when, uh, when you when you have something to put on the table that, that's when they call you back but when you don't have nothing to you are in a board meeting they are sharing ideas you have nothing to say you have no remarks you know, the next meeting they will not call you praise god are we together yes sir but the spirit of god will give you what wisdom this wisdom you need it in your place of work you need it in your business. You need it in your mind. In every, every aspect of your life. Amen. Amen. The next one that I said was that the second gift is understanding. Amen. Amen. You know, there, 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 there are times that you need to understand when to make certain decisions. You need to understand when to... Um, okay, let me, let me just put it that. It's understanding that you have that virtues is going somewhere that's why you are in this vision amen, amen. praise god Hallelujah. you know there are some people that when they do a business that you don't have proper understanding of it if you jump into it you jump out of it amen 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 the same way this christian race if you don't have some proper understanding when some challenges come you you, you know you start complaining amen. amen it is understanding of uh, when you know that you have the spirit of god in you and you have that understanding of how to be able to manage the resources that you, you have in your hand. Because you need understanding to be able to manage anything that manage your, your home, manage your relationship, manage your friends, manage your business. Amen. And it's understanding that you need to help you to be able to make proper judgments. Amen. Amen. Because um, I would like to say that if, if they put it, they said Y equals to X. If you don't understand Y equals to X, you can't solve that problem. Are we? Yes. Are we together? If this person that is on this camera does not understand how this phone operates, he can't make use of it. Amen. Amen. So you need to have this understanding, not for you what, to make necessary decisions in life. Amen. The, the third one is counsel. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's the third gift. Well, counsel. counsel. Um, I, I will say this one that, you know, I want to God to say that. Come and see me. The reason why he wants you to come and see him is so that he can guide you. Mm. They said, uh, what... What the journey uh, that your mentor has passed through, maybe it cost him 10 years. He doesn't want you to also spend that same 10 years. Yes. That's why he's asking you to come closer. Yes, you know, there are times that I will look at it like before me, if Bishop say, come and see me, like, ah, why, should I, <laughs> why should I come and see you? But if you have that understanding of why you should go and see him, in fact, you'll be the one that will be seeking for appointment to see him 
more than he's looking for appointments with. Because you know that anytime you go to see him, if only you, uh, I would say that if only you don't have a dream, amen. If somebody that does not have a dream, that does not need a mentor. But anybody that has a dream, has, and when it comes to this, the work of the, I'm just using this as an explanation when we're talking about counsel. So that means that when you have the Holy Spirit in you, it, 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 it gives you guiding about the affairs of life. It counsel you or take this part, don't take this part. Buy this one, don't buy this one. Why should I make this business now? Why should I not do this? That's the work of the Holy Spirit in our life. Hallelujah. And um, let me just move closely. These are just omomojis that I have in here. Uh, I will move straight to my, to my message for tonight. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for tonight, Lord. The Lord, that you use me, Lord, to speak to your people, O God. Father, Lord, I stand here, Lord. Use me as a vessel, Lord, to honor in the name of Jesus. The Lord, you speak through me, Lord. That I will not speak of myself tonight in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I said, I said, the rules of what? Of the Holy Spirit. So this one was just brief, brief charge. I'm, I'm going to be coming to the real messages tonight now. So in, in first of all, in here, I said, how can we how can we be led by the Holy Spirit? We can be led by word. Can I have um, Jeremiah 15, verse 16? Hallelujah. Jeremiah what? 15, verse 16. Let's go. Say what? There was the word we found. Now the word, I did eat them. There was what? what? Unto me, joy and what? For I am what? Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Praise God. That words were found. And I did what? I did eat them. That means that if you don't if you don't eat the word of God, if you don't meditate on this word, when some situation arises, you you will be empty. Amen. Yes. You know how much God will say that if they call your name in the spirit, realm, maybe in the other world, if there is nothing in you, there's nothing that is going to fight back. Because it is in that spirit, it is that word in you that you are going to call forth. Amen. Amen. Maybe let's just assume now. Maybe <laughs> they are calling your name, yeah. or maybe you have you know that edict that Bishop will say that you should don't know where the the edict is, Parastamon, or is the one that are doing coco coco coco. As they are doing coco 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 coco, your own suit, you are going to say the word said I shall not be sick. Uh, do you understand me? I, I'm just using that as an example. Praise God. So yeah. said the what? Said yeah. Said they come by what? By the word. There is no way if the word is not you, Holy Spirit is going to be useless in your life. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is being activated by the word. Amen. Amen. The enough word that you have that can help you to be able to know what to say, know which word to use. Because, you know, um, Amanda was saying that, that is message, learning to hear from God. He said, when it comes to that you are having financial problem, there's a scriptural reference for finances. Amen. Amen. But when you don't have enough depth of that word, you can't know you, you can't you can't know what which one you are going to use. Amen. If you are sick, there is a scripture for it. Mm. If you need, um, maybe you need, um, how will I say it? Um, there is this thing that my Bishop used to talk about that maybe you need urgent two K. There is a scripture to there is a scripture to build with. There is a scripture for emergency finance. Amen. Amen. So if you don't have the depth of this word. There's no way you can be able to work. That's why I, that's why I say you should hit them. You should hit them. You should meditate on the word. So the, the when it is when you meditate on this word, that's when you can enjoy the role of the Holy Spirit in your life. Amen. Amen. If you don't have word in you, there's nothing. There's no way you can enjoy it because Holy Spirit Himself is is God Himself, and God is word. The more word you have, the more you can hear of Him. Abby. Yeah. You know, if, if um, let, let me use an example now. This, this system that is being connected to this TV, is because there is an access for the, both of them to connect. If there is no access for them, maybe let, let's just, let's use an example now. Maybe both of them are on the same internet, Abby, for them to connect. I'm just using that as an example. See, if this one does not have internet, 
and this one has his talent, there cannot be connection. Hallelujah. They cannot what? Connection. But what I'm trying to let you know that the the more of what you have in you will determine will determine the function of the Holy Spirit in your life. Hallelujah. The second one I wrote here, they said you can get the Holy Spirit through prayer. Hallelujah. Through what? Prayer. Please let me open to the book of Psalm 23 from verse 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is how we can secure the Holy Spirit. Are we together? The first one is word. The Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Move to the number two. He makes what? He led, led, led me by the side of the Okay, move to the I'm going to verse three here. He saw my soul. And what? He led me in the path of righteousness. Hallelujah. Look at it there. He said what? He lead you through what? The path of righteousness. For you to lead the path of righteousness, if you don't pray, Excessively, you can't leave the path of righteousness. Mm. Amen. Amen. Because the role of prayer is, you know, um, there is this thing that Bishop used to say that maybe you've, you've you just finished praying now and you step out and the experience you are having is contrary to what you have just prayed for. Mm. Prayed about, Abby. If, if you are, if you, how do I put it? Um, Just turn up my antenna, sorry. Come against every spirit of destruction. Praise God. Sorry. So, I said, yeah, I said true prayers, Abby. Yes, so sorry. So, I was looking at him here. I said, he led me what? He restored my soul. He led me what? To righteousness. The way you can watch this part of righteousness, first of all, is by praying subconsciously you know a man of god will say that if you don't pray without season there is no way that you can you can enjoy your uh, how can i say your communication with god because i'm trying to i'm trying to bring something here that when you pray what the holy spirit does is that he, he goes around to do what to make things happen in your in your favor amen and when you pray also, the Holy Spirit is the one that, that, that the, how I say, the Holy Spirit is the one that strengthens your angels. Amen. Amen. True prayers. I, I have it here. I said, when you pray, the Holy Spirit is more empowered to carry out the errands in which you have sent him to do. Because Bishop said that God will not come in if you don't invite him. He said he has given this heart unto men, have he? Yes, sir. So there are some things that if you don't pray and you don't call God into it, there's no way that God is going to intervene into it. Because it's when you pray, like now, if, let me, let me, use, a, let me use this as an example. If I, it's like I'm trusting God for promotion. I'm, I've done my best in the place of work, have he? And they have about four people that they want to promote. It's when I pray, maybe they want to, they have four positions. They are trying to look at, okay, they'll put this person in manager level. They'll put this one. All of us have the same qualification. All of us have the same capability. It is prayer that can single me out. Mm. Yes, sir. Amen. Are we, are we together? Yes, sir. The role of the Holy Spirit is to wrestle with the heart of that person that is going to make that decision in your favor. Mm. I'm, I'm taking us somewhere. Just flow with me tonight, you. I, pr- I pray you be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. The third point that I, I, I wrote here, I said, the Holy Spirit, when you are pray- when you, after you have prayed, the job of the Holy Spirit is to attract favor, you know, make you to attract favor in the heart of men and also in the heart of God. That means that, look at the story of Jew. When God was talking about um, 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 Job to the devil is because God has found him what living the that's why he can boast of him amen, amen. so I'm, I'm, I'm coming to somewhere that if you are living a part of righteousness when you don't pray the devil will come to speak on your behalf 
And it's that prayer that will be able to make the Holy Spirit to wrestle yes. some things away. Amen. Are we, are we, are, are we, am I flowing to this morning? So what, what I'm saying here is that when you don't pray, you have left the Holy Spirit stranded to be able to know what to do. That means that God himself said that he's not going to come if you don't invite him. So the way you are inviting God is through your prayers. Yeah, hallelujah. So I don't know whatever situation you are passing through. I can guarantee you that when you pray and you believe, it's not just uh, because the is uh, a man of God said that it's not just for you to pray. When you pray also, you also have to believe. And the third one here that I wrote here is that I said I will secure it is true right company of saints. Amen. Amen. What did I say? Right. This is how we should be because just let's imagine that if you have friends that they don't believe in spiritual things, if you are not careful, you can win them or they win you. Amen. But when you have people of the same faith, there's no way. When you guys say that, when maybe you are going through financial failure, you go and say, I said no. Don't you know that the Bible says? That, but if you are if you have the friends of the other world and you yourself are not strength, but then you say, ah, you need money. You need money. Ah, you say, I need money. <laughs> do you understand me? Before you know it, they're like, but the person of that you, you guys of the same faith, there is no way. One of the reasons why you friendships are, are very important is in the day of your weakness, they are the one that will strengthen you. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. So when you don't have the right company, when you are going through some certain situation, mm. you won't have anybody to share those things with. And that's when depression can set in. Amen. Amen. But when you have the right company, by the time you have finished praying, you understand me? By the time you are sharing with, with your friend, the Holy Spirit can put some words into that friend in order concerning your situation. The Holy Spirit can put the word. That's why you see when you go and meet a man of God, because you are living a righteous life. When you meet, meet him, the Holy Spirit puts some words in him. That as he's saying it, you yourself, you'll be able to resonate with him. That, that's why Bishop will say that anything that I'm telling you, if, 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 if you are not sure of it, go and check the scriptures. Because if you guys are of, 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 the, uh, of the same uh, family, there is no way the Spirit of God will use that person to be able to give you approval of that your prayer that you just prayed. There are some times that you just finished praying and you are just chatting with your, your, your Christian friend and you're like, ah, oh my, this is what I... And you will just say something that will resonate with what you have just finished praying about. And you feel like, ah, oh my, that means that this thing is working. Amen. Amen. Because when you, have, when you have friends, when you don't have uh, godly friends, when you are in a situation, it's easier for you to fade away. Amen. So this is one of the major reasons why you need to have godly friends because when you have group um, um when you have uh, when you have right company of saints it helps you to be able to what to believe more in this it gives you room for the holy spirit to work more in your life amen, amen. so I, I want to quickly read something here uh, book of isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 isaiah 26 3 yeah 26 verse 3 Okay, say, I think I need uh, 26.3, okay. He so said, thou, thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is what? He stayed on thee, because he was. The reason why you can trust in what, amen. The reason why you can trust in what your, your company of saints will tell you is because you guys are you have the same faith, amen. amen. He said, who minds are what? As stated because you trust in him. If you don't have the right company, there are some times that when you find yourself in a certain situation, you, are, you, you can easily drive away. Look at it here. Um, it said you will guide. Okay, okay, thank you. I, will, I think I need message. Give me message. Give me message translation. You will give me what I'm looking for. Probably. Can you see? People, they are what? Their mind, mind is set on you. You keep, keep Hallelujah. 
Are we together? That's what I was trying to look for. I was just trying to look for the transition. Having the right, right company, it helps you. That's why you see that, see that they said, if you see all these, um, all these, how would I say, all these street boys, all that, they keep their company. Because in their company, they help themselves. Hallelujah. So that's why it's the same as a saint. If you don't keep company of saints, wherever you are in, you find yourself in down times, there's nobody to stay up your faith. Hallelujah. No matter what the Spirit of God is going to tell you, because that's, by the time you share your, your problem with the same um, person of the same faith, there is no way that both of you will not come back with light from that conversation. Amen. Amen. If only that's why you don't just have anybody who will. There are some Christians that are not Christian. I hope you know. Yes, Amen. Amen. Are, are we together? Yes, sir. There are some Christians that are not what? Are not Christian. Christian. Because there are some people that when you go, there are some Christians you can't tell them that I want to say, I want to buy, leave, leave by first. Let's let's face reality. Oh God, don't face reality. Oh, follow the scriptures. Amen. Amen. What did I say? Follow the scriptures. Don't do what? Don't face reality. Let me open to the book of Romans 15, verse 13. Um, uh, taking it gradually. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are we there? Okay. You say what? Now, the God of, of hope fill you what? With all joy and peace, what? In believing that you will what? You may abound in the hope. The power of hope. Of the Holy Ghost. Okay, I have, I have a translation here that I wrote down. I think it's um, NIV. Let me just say. It said, May the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He said what? May the God of what? Of hope fill you with what? All joy and peace as what? As you trust in Him. So that means that for you to have peace, you need to trust in God. I don't know whatever situation you are going through tonight, I want you to trust in God. Because to say with Him, all things are possible. I can tell you that with God, we can become 7,000. But you know he needs us. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You know, Bishop, these days, I'll tell us some things. He say, oh God, if there are some things that if you don't do anything, God is just looking at it because he has done his part. Hallelujah. But what he's trying to tell you here is that he said, make the God of hope of, of fill you with joy and peace. Why you need joy? He said that there is no man, there is no way anybody that is sad cannot think correctly. Because in, your, in, in that disposition of that that unhappiness. There are so many things going through your mind. What if it's not going? I, you know, one thing I've learned is that I've stopped worrying about things. Hallelujah. Because no matter how you worry from now till next year, it's not going to change. So, so why am I worrying? So the, the only thing that I do is that I, 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 I'm trying to judge when this is thinking versus is worried. Hallelujah. Because the more you worry, the more the problem expands. Hallelujah. Abby, the devil is just looking for a, a space in your heart for him to even say, uh -huh. maybe, maybe you are, maybe, maybe you have done something, and you now start seeing like a sign of consequence of what the mistake you have made. Now trying to like play out, you now be like, ah, come on. It might be this thing, you know, that's why God is all God. God has forgiven. <laughs> God has forgotten about that. That's why Jesus has cried on the cross. Anyway. That's why I said what? May the God of, of hope fill you with joy. Because even though for God to be able to speak to you, he needs you to be in happy state. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, they said uh, they said uh, they said an object at rest will not leave itself until an external force. That joy is, is a force. For you to be able to resonate with his word. Hallelujah. No matter the situation, I can tell you tonight that that thing, that worry is not going to solve it. I want you to know that you should be filled with what? With joy. And when you are going to the place of prayer, when you have peace about that matter, just know it's settled. Hallelujah. He respects you whether it has happened or it has not happened. Among God said that. He said, we live like forward to be able to understand. There are some things that you have been praying about. God has answered the prayer, but because of your own curiosity, you want him to do it now. He knows that if you do it now, you are going to land in problem. Amen. There are some people right now, if God gives them some kind of 
funds. I can tell you, they will not be, they will not be in church tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he's, that's why he's taking you through a channel. He's taking you through a process. He's taking you through a, a means. So that when you get to that place he has prepared for you. You know, Bishop was talking to us in, in today's meeting. He said, if he just promotes some of us, and we are not prepared for that promotion, we are going to, we are going to do what? We are going to, he's going to put on his... <laughs> You're going to put on self distrust as we're going to have more problems. You know, and it's true. There are some success that when they come, you are not really prepared for them. It will put you in more problem. Yes. Look at somebody that bought a car now that ran under a trailer. It hasn't it has a problem. Yes, more problem. Because maybe he was working with two hands and his two legs, but when he got the car, they caught one of Is that not a problem? Amen. So God, he knows the plans that he has for you. That's why when I say that, thing, I'm relating it back to the things I've talked to you about here, that the Holy Spirit helps you to be to, to able to think about God's talk. He helps you to be able to ruminate about that, that thing. That, okay, maybe you are going through this thing. You know that this thing is not going to stay for the, forever. Amen. Amen. It's just for a while. I don't know whatever thing you are going through tonight. I can give you assurance that that God, this is my God of hope, is going to fill you with the solution tonight. Amen. Amen. Because there is something that I need you to know that there is a there is a there's 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 what they call there's a code a code for every situation. Once you can crack it, that's it. Amen. Amen. There there is a way somebody there's a way somebody will use this phone to snap a picture. Another person will use it to snap another picture. And you'll be wondering that ah wait oh is this this same phone? Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, one thing I've learned is that they used to say that, uh, um, that there are some fast cars, I know. But that fast car also depends on, on, on the driver. There are some people in this room, like our, our Mr. Shizzi. <laughs> when they're on the wheel, you know that, oh God. <laughs> Praise God. Because there are some people there with fast cars, but they can't move fast. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I'm taking us somewhere tonight. I just want you to know. So we are going back into the things that I've shared with you before. It's going to be the Holy Spirit role is to what to seal believer salvation. So he now said what is going to reveal God's thoughts. The way he's going to reveal God's thoughts is that for him to first of all reveal God's thoughts is that you need to be in the state of joy. Amen. If you are not in that state of joy, there's no way you can hear from God. And God is not going to speak to him by himself. He's going to speak to his spirit. Abby? Yes. A merry heart is what God loves, Abby. Yes, sir. God is not interested in somebody that... You have, look at a man of God that was sharing with us that there's a time that he, when he's about to parent and he will say, God! And God will not say anything. <laughs> if you look at it, even though it's me, I was like, oh, God, you are wicked. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like, <laughs> you're you the one that sent this man. <laughs> and the man is saying, okay, you have, it, let me just give you an example. Now, maybe I just sent me on an error now. And, and I'm going, a, a, police, a police officer now arrest me. And I now call on IG. IG, IG, IG. IG did not now come through. He's just like, yeah. so what IG is expecting is that I'm too bigger than that man you want me to speak to. Hallelujah. Just mention my name. If you mention my name, he did not answer, then I will know what to do. Hallelujah. So, you know, when I shared that story with me, he, he, he brought a lot of light to me. That I feel, I, it makes me to know that God has prepared all that we need for us. Hallelujah. And look at it where, when I was saying there, he said, he said, he's going to reveal God's thoughts. God's thoughts in prayer. As I'm praying, I have prayed that God bless me this month. This month now has been the care of all, my, all around about refreshing. Abby. So that means that if I'm going through this month, and the thing is a little bit more rough, it's for me to go back to that word and say, no, this is what you have said. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I can tell you that this month of mighty help, I told God, I said, this month I receive help. And I can tell you from big problems, God begins to crash them, crash them, crash them. Because I, once a problem shows up, I, I, I think my wife is my witness here. The, I was talk, sharing about the testimony of when I said my mechanic called me and said that they've damaged 
the vehicle that is with them. And I'm like, and thank God Bishop has taught us system. Amen. Amen. You see, one of the things that we are in this house is that Bishop is teaching us a lot of things. But if you don't put those things, there's no way to make sense to you. Amen. Amen. And, you know, as, as I was what, what, about to make that worry, that thing told me, said, ah, this is system. This is system. Said, don't look at that guy. Look at it from this angle. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see sometimes that when you see somebody said, in this marriage, I'm not doing it again, Oga. That's his level of his wisdom. Another person will undo that same woman. And you'll be wondering that, ah, is it not the same devil that was living with you? That person is not the devil. Mm. It's the level of your wisdom. That's why I was saying it here, that this Holy Spirit, what? It was, it was, yeah, it fills believer with what? With strength and wisdom. There are some times, there are some situations you find yourself that you know that this thing, you cannot live it by your own strength. There are some bills you want to pay that you know that, ah, if the Spirit of God did not come true for me, it did not touch the heart of this person. It did not, there are some people that maybe you've made mistake first time, second time, third time. You need Holy Spirit to touch the heart of that man for him to be able to still do that thing that he has still been doing for you. Hallelujah. Yes, I can tell you, you have been in that shoe. Are, see, nobody, nobody really cares about you. It's because you have the value you are putting on the table. The day your value stops, Okay. That man that used to call you before, you will call him and call and call and call and call and call, and you'll be surprised. The same person, the same person that you have been calling, that when you see your call, uh, he can call you back five times. You'll be shocked that that same person you call and call and call and he will not pick. And there's nothing you will do about it. Okay. Nothing. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, Bishop said that even though for them to pay you salary in the place you work is <laughs> good. Hallelujah. Yes. If you don't pay your guy, you will not, not. Especially in this, this Nigeria that, uh, <laughs> that uh, we are only living by the grace of God because <laughs> a lot of people in this country, <laughs> there is no right to. <laughs> Hallelujah. You need to get to some certain level before you can say you have the right. Hallelujah. And you see people that, um, I think somebody that shared a story with me of, he was owing, he was owing somebody. And he went to go and use police to carry the person that is owing. You don't understand. Because the person is disturbing him for his money. I said, who does that? You are, you, we, did, we, did business, we did business together. My money is in your hands. And I'm disturbing your guy, giving me my money. And you went to go and use police to arrest me for asking you for my money. <laughs> I'm telling you, as you, this thing I'm saying is not... So, you know, the power in that guy's hands is the physical cash. Amen? Have you, have you, uh, maybe I'm the only one that you've not seen the skit of, you see a guy that, and a girl that they are going on the road, and a jeep will say, pam, 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 and the guy will be like, ah, no, 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 my babe, ah, I love, and the next thing, before you know it, <laughs> sorry, yes. you don't press when you clear. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I think that's just to crack us up. I, I hope we are together. So, the, I wrote it here. Um, praise God. So, I'm trying to explain back what I've written before. I said that this, this Holy Spirit. So, you know, when you are prayed, you, you are forgotten, you are prayed. One day now, okay, come. We now need that prayer that you have prayed. There are some times that some of us, if you have stopped praying, is the prayer that you have prayed, prayer you have prayed before that is still working on. So it better you continue prayer. Don't be like that man that is digging, that is digging well for water, that's trying to say, and he was about to carry the last act. I'm not doing it again. And that man will now just come there and just, and all your labor. And it, it happens to a lot of people. You see people in organizations that they will have done their best, do this one, do that. It's just one small inch for them to do like this. Don't say, whoa, this thing is not working. And they will go, as they make a U-turn, everything will change. I'm telling you, I've seen, I've seen it many times. This is not that they are, you know, I've, I've, I've been in a place whereby things have not worked for, for months. And when everything will turn. And this thing I was saying before is that when you don't do God's work, your own work will not be done. Amen. Amen. 
That's why Bishop said it, that in division, there is provision. The more you put yourself in alignment of his vision, the more he provides for you to be able to play your own role in that vision. Amen. Amen. The more you keep chasing your own vision, the more he keeps depriving you of that provision that you need. One of the things is that God, uh, God is very jealous, so he doesn't joke with his, his house. Hallelujah. Very what? Very jealous. Once you have him in his heart, uh, just uh, for me, I, I think it's, if you look at it also, it's something that, uh, how will I say it? It's something that I'll be selfish. Let me use an uh, example now. If somebody is blessing me, giving me, she understand me, when I call him, he answer me. Yeah. And he now need me. I did not respond. I now want to go and respond to somebody that does not have my time. Somebody that, will, that does not send me. Ah. Ah, it's a bridge of contract now, Abby. Because life is give and take. Amen. Amen. So the same way is what I was trying to explain here. So if you look at it now, if you can look at the things that I was talking about before, look at them closely as I'm taking it. You will now have the proper understanding of what I'm talking about, the rule of the Holy Spirit. I said, is what is to see believer salvation, review God's thoughts, teach and guide you. So that means that before you, you before in you that your place of work, you need them to increase your salary. The Holy Spirit can teach you and guide you on what to do. In that your business, you have been making sales of maybe 10,000 profit before. You need a profit of 10 million. Holy Spirit can guide you. There are steps you take that can bring the about total turnaround in the your business. But because you feel that that business is more important than God, sir, you can, that business can shut down. There are so many companies today, bigger companies that have shut down. There are companies that have left Nigeria to other countries because of yeah. power supply and things like that. There are comp so there are a lot of, and there are people that, that person that you are looking at is nobody, that have become somebody. You know one of the things that I learned on the, on the, on the business, uh, they said, don't fear the person that has made it. Fear the person that has not made it. Because the person that is coming is glory. So as I am like this, I don't despise anybody. I mean, I don't, I don't, no matter who you are, I don't despise because we, nobody knows more. But I know that my future is right. Don't go out there. God has blessed me. There are some money that can no longer be a problem to me. Amen. 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 I've, I, uh, uh, I, think, I think I've shared this story two times. There was a time that was, well, I think I wanted to change. Uh, my wife car had issues and I was worried about how she would go to work. Blah, blah, blah. And that's Wednesday's, Wednesday service. And I went to try to see how I can sort out the car. And it was almost time for service. And this lady said, go, come back, go to church. I'm like, how will she go? I will, this one, madam, if I had gone, I would have been grateful. You know the funny thing? That problem, eh, after that decision, that problem was not resolved until maybe four months after. And for that four months, she was driving to work. God, you, is that I said, the Holy Spirit, he, will reveal, he has revealed that thought, but because of my own word, my own anxiety, that's why in that book of my matrices that I was talking about, said you are worrying about what you eat, you are worrying about what you wear, you are worrying about how, how are you going to, how this thing is going to be. Oh God, don't worry about it. He got, it, yeah, he got you, ma. He got you, sir. There was a time the Spirit of God told me, he said, take your rent, sow it. And the funny thing is that, that rent, eh, it was almost about maybe let's say two months to payment. You know that that there there was a time that we used to save to payment. These days we don't do it again. God has helped us. We we, we trust God for everything that we do now. Amen. Hallelujah. Even though we have not gotten it there, we are not there yet. But I I I can see the signs that I'm there already. Hallelujah. I can see the signs. I can see it. I can see it. And as I'm standing on this altar, I will receive the grace to transform into my new level of finances, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord. Grace, 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 grace. The grace of my of Father Alexander will work for me. That I begin to work in megas of millions in the name of Jesus. I take advantage of this, my opportunity upon this altar 
Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy into my finances, I prophesy into my transactions, I prophesy into my business, I prophesy into all that concerns me, that as from today, there's a new me, there's a new me, there's a transformation in my finances, there's a transformation in my idea, there's a transformation in the way I begin to see things, there's a transformation in the began to the, that the Spirit of God begins to help me to be able to in the way I mean to make this, I begin to make necessary adjustment. Maso tarabara bayande, kasu teleba rabaya, lebra katala bayande, robo koshete, e kariba rabaya rabara baraba. Lord, I pray tonight, O God, that I receive angelic assistance in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, one of the things I have learned, a man of God said that whenever you are here, many things happen. If there are there are prayers you make on top of this altar that will not be at the same thing when you are in that place. Mm -hmm. So as I hear that in my spirit, I took advantage of it. Amen. Amen. I took advantage of it. He said, he teach the believer. The Holy Spirit is the one that will teach you for you to be able to know what steps you should take. You want to, you, are, you see a, a beautiful soul that is growing. You have, you have desire to win that soul. It's the Holy Spirit that will give you vibes. Amen. 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 There are, some, there are some men of God, when, when they tell you how they toast their wife, you know that the Spirit of God can, the Holy Spirit can teach. He can teach you on how to do anything. There are some contracts that you will go for. When the Holy Spirit will teach you, when you finish talking, you yourself, you'll be looking at yourself like, ah, come on. <laughs> you you like, ah. You, you, even though you yourself, you will know that if the Spirit of God has not helped you, you, you couldn't have done. I've seen many times that the Holy Spirit has come true for people. That's why the spirit of the book said, don't lean on your own understanding. Because that your understanding can limit what God wants to do. That the role of the Holy Spirit is to teach you. Our man of God has said, we should expand. Let the spirit of God take charge. Before you go out every morning. That's why sometimes when we are on morning prayer, I find it so difficult to sleep. Amen. Amen. I find it so difficult to be distracted at that time because that time can cause a lot. It can make, it can ruin my day or change my day. So why don't you make decision of allowing that taking charge? You know, Amara God said that before you go, it's good for you to take charge, and you are taking charge by allowing the Holy Spirit to be in charge for you. Amen. Amen. Don't just, you see, um, how will I put this? Um, the, um, oh, thank you. Say trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not what? There's, there's, a, there's an understanding of how life should go. There's an understanding of how you should approach that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that boardroom. There's an understanding of how you should deal with your boss. You know, uh, 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 Amanda was teaching us sometimes that how to deal with difficult bosses. Amen. When people are complaining about that boss, you are seeing the reason why the boss is being angry. There are times that I do share with, um, I think we had me or maybe MD sometimes, that like maybe if I make some mistake and Bishop is talking to me and I'm like, oh like, God, I'm the one that caused it. Because if I have done what he wants me to do, he will have praised me, he will have talked to me. Anyhow. Amen. True. So some of these things, when you don't want them to happen, you allow the Spirit to take total charge of you. You find yourself doing the things that you could not do before. Amen. Amen. I've seen it that any time I release myself to the Spirit of God to, to take charge of that day, the day goes well. There is that time you see yourself now be feeling like done. You feel like ah, I'm on, ah you know, like uh, dig it, you do it. Oh, God, you do not do anything. It's the Spirit of God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But if you did not allow Him, there is no way. You can't see it. You know, I read one scripture this morning. I was talking about it that those people things become light. For the Holy Spirit to become visible, for your light to shine, is for you to allow the expression of the Holy Spirit to become visible in all the activities of your whatever you do in your decision making, in your approach, in your you know you know this thing they talk about that, that uh, in project management. There's what they talk about scope. There's what they talk about uh, strategy. You know all these things like that. Um, I think in um, in, um, in this um, ISO 9001, it's talking about it's talking about controls. There's 7.5 is talking about documentation. 
Holy Spirit can help you to be able to, for you to be able to document the schedule of your day and you not miss one. And you tick all of them, pam, 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 pam. That's what the Spirit of God does to you. Amen. Amen. You are planning for an event, Holy Spirit will guide you. You see, some, some, one thing I've realized is that it's, it's just that you need to have the balance of when to know, when to push, and when not to be like you are lazy. Amen. Amen. Because there are, there are times that if, you're in this, if, if, you, if you want to live in the spiritual realm, sometimes if you are not being careful, you might almost want to become lazy. I'm not saying you should be lazy. If you look at a man of God, he's not very lazy. He's reading books. He's making... But as you are doing that, allow the Spirit of God to... You want to write an exam, allow the Spirit of God to tell you the area you should concentrate on. Amen. Amen. You know, there's this saying that they said that uh, and to pass no more is the person that pass that knows. Because if both of us do a course and... I pass, and you feel. You know the course more than me, but God, I've passed. People will listen to me more than they will listen to persons that have failed. Have you? I mean, you not have some of those people in school that they will be the one teaching everybody, but they will have C, and people that they talk will have A. Hey. Oh, I'll follow the person that has A. Hey. It's before that I used to get angry about some things. I said, oh, God, I have results. When you have results, some, some things will not happen again. Amen. Yes, amen. I think I, there was a time I, I had issue. Ah, praise God. This Amen. Amen. You know the thing that I was looking at is like when they gave me that time, like ah, sixty minutes. What did I want to see? But now <laughs> sixty minutes is over. Hallelujah. God. Let me just share that story quickly. Uh, ah, before I share that story, let me. This the the second part that I wrote here is that true true giving. Proverbs eleven twenty four. True giving. You can secure the Holy Spirit. Praise God. I, I hope we have, let me quickly re- rephrase this. I say, how can we secure this? Way? First one is by what? Through the word. The second one was through prayer. The third one was through rice company, Abby, and Godly Friends. Then I now have it here. True, true giving. True what? Giving. True giving. Proverbs 11. True giving and receiving. Let me just match it together. True giving and receiving. Proverbs 11, 24. Proverbs 11, 24. Look at it. NIV, God bless you. God bless you, sir. One person gives freely, you mean? Yes. Yet, gain the world. Another person with old, but what? Don't, don't hold that money. Don't hold that idea. You know, there are some people that they put you in position. Instead of you to give your support, you are holding back your support. Oh God, give it. You see, the thing I've realized is that the more people you empower, eh, the more honor you have. Yes, sir. Yes. The more you form like, and the one that is there, or that time will come that you will not be able to do some things again. It's those people that you have empowered that you are going to lean on. Just imagine that Jesus Christ did not have 12 disciples. When he has left, who will have done all this work? So if you are in any position, try to empower people. Amen. If you are in this house, give your money. Amen? Amen. What did I say? Give your money. Give your time. This giving is something that, because I will not lie to you, when you give God your time, God will give you his own time also. Abi, When you give God your money, he's going to hard months to you. Because the bishop said to us, he said, once it's in your heart, God will do what? But there are some people, they will say it's in their house. Once the money comes, they, they used to forget. Say, I lie. You know one thing that I've realized that don't say, the bishop will say, don't say you can't do something since you have some, some solid money. There is a conversation me and MD used to have. You say, like, like, oh God, say you don't owe 50 M, make you hold on as him. Have you received like Maybe you have like $50 million in your accounts. Can you behave? Can you walk into the room normal? Can you walk like a normal? There are some people. If you have one mil- <laughs> hey, this is what I used to make me laugh. You say that sometimes when you collect, you'll be like, 
Yeah. Where, by the time you go there, they tell you the price, say, I'm coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I remember there was a time like that, that the first day, uh, there is this place, I think, Man's Shoe or something that, I, uh, when we went there, and I saw the prices of the shoe. I said, my God, there are people that are wearing this thing. Well, we thank God we grew to that level. Um, we thank God we have surpassed that level in the name of Jesus. Glory. One of the things I've realized and I've learned that you are, is me you are seeing today. Because something has changed about me yesterday and means of today. I've learned to know that when, when, I, when I rely on the Holy Spirit, I mount up wings as eagles, and I do what? I begin to fly. Amen. Can we rise up on our feet tonight as we pray and say, Lord, Father, Lord, help me to be able to mount up wings as eagles, Lord. Help me to be able to fly in every area that I'm supposed to fly. Wherever that I've been crawling, oh God, Father, Lord, I pray that I mount up with eagles, and I begin to fly in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and say, Lord, I mount up with eagles in my finances, I fly in my cities of God, I fly in my kingdom work, I am flying, Lord. I'm soaring higher in the name of Jesus. In my finances, I'm soaring higher, Lord. In those business ideas, I'm soaring higher in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. That book of Isaiah 26 that I read that time, verse 3 said you, you will keep, keep in perfect peace those who mind are steadfast are because they trust in you i want you to pray lord because i trust in you lord throughout this month lord keep me in perfect peace lord in my finances peace oh god in my health peace oh god in my health, peace, oh god. in my service you peace oh god as a ministry lord keep us in perfect peace lord in the name of Jesus, Eko Sada Barabayandi, Radiba Catalaba Rusa, Masha Tavaria, Lava Dalaba Dabayandi, Eko Tulibusa, Masata Dialaba, Radaba Catalaba Rusa, Ekarabaya. Can you pray tonight? The Lord keep me in perfect peace in the name of Jesus, that I am more to something in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shatabadiande, Rebelusa, Masha Tavaria, Radabara, for in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Yeah. I want to go pray and say, Lord, this month I've been declared a month of about refreshing, Lord. Lord, let me enjoy refreshing all round about in the name of Jesus. In my finances, refresh, Lord. That my finances is being refreshed, Lord. I am refreshed, Lord. In my spirituality, is refreshed, Lord. My fire is being refreshed, Lord. In the name of Jesus, my commitment to you is being refreshed, Lord. I enjoy a fresh, a refreshing, a refreshing commitment, a refreshing zeal, Lord, to your work in the name of Jesus. No longer will I hold back to the things of I take courage of you. I am refreshed in the name of Jesus, For in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Can we pray tonight and say, Father Lord, as I take this communion, Lord? Father, Lord, I pray that, Lord, my eyes are being refreshed, Lord. My eyes begin to see the things I'm supposed to see, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I my decisions are right. My steps are ordered. In the name of Jesus, can you open your mouth and begin to pray? I say, Lord, tonight, Lord, I pray. Can we go? For in Jesus, my name will pray. Amen. Can we come for the coming? Every song you never know now. 
Every time I bow at your throne, in worship you will be exalted, O Lord. And your kingdom shall not pass away. And your kingdom will never be mental. Every song in heaven, my name shall be made of glory. Every kingdom shall pass away. Any titan in the house tonight? If there's any titan in the house, can you be upstanding? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Any other person joining them tonight? If you are giving, paying your tithe tonight, can you be upstanding? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we commit this title into your hands tonight, Lord. As this one has obeyed, Lord, this one tonight, oh God. Father, Lord. Let there be a roundabout refreshing in their finances and their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them be refreshed in every area of their life. Father, we pray, Lord, as, we t- as they take this step of faith, Lord, let them not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Amen. All that they lay hands upon, let them be successful in the name of Amen. Jesus. Let them enjoy good success in this month of May Amen. and many days of this year, Lord. Let them have much more in their resources Amen. and in their home in the name of Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus Mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we have a seat? Can we can we package our offering tonight? Praise God. You have the account number. You have the POS. In case you need to use the POS. And we have the envelope if you want to pay in cash. But I can tell you that we prefer you to do more of transfers. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, there are some figures that you, you cannot transfer. Amen. 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 There's no way you want to do transfer. You know, there's, there's, this, there's this push that transfer gives you. Like, you can do more. You can do more. Amen. 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 You know, the more you transfer, the more it's been transferred. This step of faith tonight, Lord, to give unto you, Lord. Let much more be given unto us, O God. Amen. Let men be a blessing unto us. Amen. And let this world be a blessing unto us. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, tonight, can you shout jail? Glory. Glory. All the way from the United Kingdom, can we celebrate our man of God tonight? Hallelujah. <laughs> I've been, greeting, I've been greetings from a man of God. I'm very sure that he's happy that we are here tonight. And I pray that as you have come here tonight, you will not go back the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. That which God has done in your life tonight, he will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we rise up on our feet tonight?
I want you to take one prayer before we go tonight. In 60 seconds, I just want you to pray. Whatever you think you are trusting God for tonight, I want you to release your faith tonight. He said that those that trust in Him, I want you to put your trust in God tonight and just pray about that thing that is bothering you. I'm giving you that opportunity tonight for you to take that advantage to pray about that situation tonight. Can you pray? 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 Can you trust God tonight? Can you pray? I don't know that thing that whatever that I've spoken to or whatever I've not spoken to, open your mouth and pray tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. There is an amount of roundabout refreshing. I want you to pray. The scripture says that the Lord said He's going to supply our need according to the riches in glory. I want you to pray that, Lord, as I go tonight, oh God, Father, Lord. I enjoy supernatural supplies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Supply of information, supply of relationship. Can you open your mouth and pray and say, Father Lord, I enjoy supplies, Lord, in the name of Jesus. As a ministry, we enjoy supply of men, we enjoy supply of resources, we enjoy supply of men and leaders rising in their potential in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray tonight, Lord, that we enjoy supplies in every area, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I comfort us. I enjoy supplies in the name of Jesus. Supply of relationship. Supply of help from God and man, supply of resources, supply of divine capacity, supply of divine angels in the name of Jesus, supply of food. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know, on Sunday we pray about it. I can tell you that between Sunday and today, I have seen so many help of angels. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I receive angelic help. In many days of this week, Lord. As I this month of May, Lord, I am helped, Lord. I am refreshed. I am helped by angels. I receive the, the whatever angels, whether it be the angel of man, whether it be the angels or whatever form of angel that you need to speak to you. Lord, I receive. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. As, as we know, uh, we are going to be running our closing charge right now. We know our closing charge is grace and peace. Yes, we are going to be being together as a family. Then you will look for a powerful neighbor tonight. And in case that neighbor did not say it, you, you speak powerfully to yourself. Can we say grace and peace together as a family? Grace, grace and peace be multiplied unto us through the knowledge of God our Father. And of Jesus Christ our Lord. Can you say to your neighbor tonight? Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God your Father and of Jesus Christ your Lord. Can you say it over yourself properly? In case of that, what did you say? Grace and peace be multiplied unto me through the knowledge of God my Father and of Jesus Christ my Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, as we know, tonight is our global admin birthday. So um, I think it's good for us to make uh, a birthday yeah. something. Can we say at the at the count of one, two, three, go? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey.